Hey there, haven't you wished you could send a personalized email to hundreds of thousands of people all at once? But you're tired of seeing your creatively crafted cold emails fall into spam or the promotion stuff. And what about that unsubscribe button that has to go out when you're using tools like mail merge or send it blue or whatnot? Well, it's time to say goodbye to those problems with our friend mail merge. You see, mail merge is a powerful tool and it's been around for decades. It was primarily used for businesses to send letters, postcards, and use letters to their customers. But now with the power of tech, you can use it to send mass emails as well. And the best bit, uh, there's no unsubscribe button. It does not fall into spam or promotions. You can personalize it as much as you like with custom parameters. And most importantly, it's free. So let's jump right into using mail merge uh, with Google Sheets and Gmail and see the magic in action. All right, so I have my Google Sheets open with a bunch of email IDs and first names and last names. So these are the people that I want to send my personalized bulk email to. Uh, I also have drafted my email here. So this is the email that I'm going to send out to. I might plan on adding some emojis and maybe some custom parameters like first name, etc. Uh, I'll show you how to do that as well. Right. So what you need to do is first go to this uh, document and here you can see it's create and mail merge with Gmail and Google Sheets and if you scroll all the way down you see this button called make a copy once you click on make a copy and do the necessary authorizations you open the sheet now you might be wondering hey Elson what's the difference between this sheet and any other Google Sheet now the difference lies in the extensions and the app script right so here Martin Hosky he's uh, put out this wonderful code here and as you can see, you'll notice there are things like recipient, email sent, the word mail merge being used. If you scroll a bit down, you also see these custom parameters. Uh, there's this nice interesting line which says, if you want to send emails with emoji characters, you need to change the word Gmail app for mail app, right? So let's do that because I do want to add an emoji. So in case I don't do that, what happens is my emojis appear as question marks in the final email, right? So make sure you test your mail merges as well. So I have updated this. Let me save the code. All right. I think I'm good to go in terms of what I need from this page. I just wanted to show you uh, what it looks like under the hood. So what I'll do is I will go onto my email list. I will copy these emails onto this sheet and let me do that. Okay. I don't need these other columns out there, right? I don't need columns D, E, and F. You need to keep your email sent column intact, but the other columns you don't really need it. So I'm gonna delete that. I also don't need the last name to be honest. So I'm gonna delete that as well. And let me copy the first name, because that I want. Awesome, so I have my first name, my recipient, and let me expand this, I have my email sent. Let me add those customizations onto our draft as well. So let me copy first name and we probably put it on my subject. So I'm going to add curly brackets and this is the format that you need to follow, right? It's curly bracket, add the name of the parameter, close curly bracket. Same goes here. So recipient and this is mandatory. You have to do it. So curly bracket, recipient, close curly bracket. Let me add my emoji. So I'm just going to put a simple smile emoji. Awesome. So I think I'm good to go. This is the email that I want to send uh, to these people. Now what you need to do is you need to click on mail merge, click on send emails. And now they'll ask you to paste the subject line of the Gmail draft message you'd like to mail merge with. So go back to your Gmail, go to your drafts, click on the draft and copy the subject line over here. Once you do that, all you need to do is click on OK to initiate the mail merge. Now the script is running, it'll take a couple of seconds. And once that's done, your email sent column has been populated and you can also see the different times when the emails were sent. So let's see if this actually worked. So let me go back to my email and go to the send folder. Let me refresh this and voila. All the emails have been sent. You can see they've also been personalized to the person that I wanted to send it to. And when you click on it, you also see that the emojis have shown. And that's how you use Mail Merge.